evening all. Good evening. Wait till we get a few. Uh, give us a hi if you're um, joining us this evening. I can see a couple, but I haven't got a a name yet. Oh, and while I'm waiting, hi Natasha, hi lovely lady, I am just playing with the clay to, um, they use a fancy word don't they, I just call it prepare and let it dry a little, let a little bit of air get to it because it's quite sticky when you start. So if you're just tuning in, you'll think, crikey, what's she doing? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Thank you for joining me. I thought I saw you were off to the cinema this evening. Or I might have, that might, unless that was someone else thought it was you. Let's wait for a few more. As you can see, oh, conditioning, that's the word. So as you can see, I'm just conditioning this clay and then um, while we're waiting for a few more to join us and then we'll uh, make a start. Bit of a fun one this evening. Oh, it's not showing me comments very well. I'll oh, wait, it might move them up in a bit. Right then, we've got a few of you. Uh, shall we make a little start? I think so. I'm just going to wipe this clay off my hands. So, good evening. Uh, as you know, I'm Heidi from Lisa, Hort's, Lisa Horton Crafts Design Team. Um, this evening, I want to show you something, um, a passion of mine, where I have been for a while, but it has been put on a bit of a back seat. Um, just basically, because I've been doing other things, but it's something I love. And I want to show you something that's easy for you to do, that's not going to cost you a lot of money, that works with Lisa, Horton, Lisa Horton's products. Something different. Uh, and we can all, we all, you know, the cards are beautiful and a lot of the 3D products um, that we use. But sometimes we just want that something a little bit different. Plus, this one is ideal. Um, hi, Mary, for Father's Day. Hi, Lisa. It's ideal for Father's Day. Uh, or... I was thinking Christmas and my thinking of it is I'm going to do one of these for each of my um, work colleagues um, and I'm going to put a few little Christmas sweets in and then I'm going to put some cellophane round um, as a little gift because I just thought that's something different, something they can keep. But what inspired me for this was I went into a gift shop and I saw uh, one of these little bowls um, and it was like 8 99 and I need something to put my earrings in. You know the side of your bracelet, the side of the bed, because I just tend to throw them on the side and they get lost in things. So I thought, I want, and then after I'd seen the one I was going to buy, I thought, no, I can make this. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I have tried embossing folders with clay before, but it just doesn't give the good effect. Um, so when Lisa brought out the 3D ones, uh, for me, it was like, wow, so excited. Right, I've had a little interruption on mine, so do you want to just give me a shout if you can hear me? Uh, you recognise the imprints, yes, Nikki, we're back, I think we're back. So if we do get any interruptions and you do get a few pixels, I'm going to download it onto YouTube afterwards so you'll be able to watch it all clearly there, okay? Any questions, ask away and I will answer. Right, I've lost the broadcast again. Oh, are we back? I think there's a lot of problems with the internet at the moment. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry on, okay, and then as like I say, I will put it onto YouTube. Right, so I'm going to put these out the way, because these are the ones that I've already gone ahead with. Right, as you have seen me use before, I use a, it's called a light paper clay, which is this one, and it's a bit sort of like a rubbery consistency. It's ideal for when you're using on cards because it's very, very light. But it is more expensive than what I call your standard ordinary clay. Hello, Christine. Thank you for joining us. So now this one is 
I mean, I used to use this years ago as a child, but not air, air dry. Um, Daz, um, you can pick it up very cheaply in most craft stores. Um, I think I did see a kilo for about £4 and I thought, well, I can make lots with that. I'm still on the same uh, 500 gram packet and I've made uh, about six or seven bowls and some other little pieces, um, what I'm trying to use at the moment. So what I want you to do is when you get your clay out of the packet, it, it is quite wet. So just condition it by giving it a rub around like this. Oh, my cat's decided to join me, which she does every time I start a live. Come on, Angel. So I'm just going to move things out of the way for her. There we go. Oh, Angel. Sorry about this, folks. I've just got to make clear the bed. That's it. Okay, so we're going to roll this into a ball. Now, when you're making um, these, you don't want to go too thick because if you go too thick, it will just take forever to dry. And the opposite, you don't want to go too thin. Now, this one is approximately a quarter of an inch. This one, I did go slightly thinner. And it seems to be fine but once they're varnished they will clear up anyway okay so now this clay is feeling you'll notice it feels less sticky and it starts to settle i think it's it's the air's getting to it if you find you've not wrapped it up properly and it needs conditioning again if you add a little bit of water that will keep it moist and i sometimes add a little bit of water um just to keep it so it doesn't dry out but always seal it up properly when you're finished okay so this is one of the um little baking um rolling pins it cost me about three pound from a little shop you don't need a rolling pin you can use um just use your i sometimes use a glass or paint jars or whatever you've got don't go spending um extra money um when you don't need to i actually don't need that much clear i'm going to take a little bit off there and put that to one side Okay, uh, I'm working on, this is just um, an ink mat, Lisa's mat works perfectly for this, uh, but mine's actually drying out at the moment, because uh, I did give it a wash, because I'm a bit lazy and don't wash them properly, I'm just standing up so I can get a good roll on this. Right, I am getting lots of interruptions on mine, so please watch on YouTube if, um, if it carries on. Okay, so as you can see, I've rolled out the clay. And that's approximately, I would say that's just under quarter of an inch. Now, don't worry about the little marks. We can sort that afterwards. Now, this is the fun part. You can choose which embossing folder will go with your style of bowl, whichever you want to do. Now, obviously, I've got most of them. I'm waiting for the order. I've got a couple of the Christmas ones, but I'm waiting for the other ones, um, which I've got on order. So we've got the sunflower... Uh, I like this one for the men and I like the cube one but I think the tyre, uh, like the platform tread but I call it tyre tread, works lovely. I thought this evening we would use the leaf folder because I thought it's really pretty and you could change the colours to work, you could really go male or female. I don't think it, you know, I don't think it matters to be honest with leaves. So what I didn't do, like when you're stamping, now, I don't know why this works. I don't know if you've got the um, anti-static bag from Lisa. Fabulous, okay? This stops the clay sticking. So, and what I should have done before I started is add some anti-static powder onto the mat that you're working on, okay? So, I'm going to take that piece of clay back on there. I'm just going to see my nails don't help because i've got quite sharp nails but we can get rid of those afterwards okay so now it's time to pick your folder so for tonight's purposes we're going to go for the, the, the leaf folder because i love it i think it's beautiful i'll just show you the um it's the variegated leaf that's the name of the um i'm sure somebody will do a link for me it was in stock so i'm hoping it's yes mary uh, mary when i know you said you were getting some clay and you were talking about getting the um the light clay that will work for this but i think this is a lot less this is a much cheaper version and if you're doing something that's going to be like heavier that can be heavier uh, this would work lovely i mean it, it can crack obviously you, you wouldn't i wouldn't use it on a card because it probably wouldn't fare well through the post unless you wrapped it up because it is like a porcelain really once it's finished okay so all i do is place the 
clay inside the folder okay doesn't matter which way close your folder now at this point you can use your hands you can use your rolling pin again which I'm using or you can use a glass or one of the best things I've found for this is actually um, a brayer a brayer is quite good but if you haven't got one don't don't rush out to buy anything what you haven't got you don't need to use things that you've got in the house so just stir it, roll away Mary Kerry, you've got the one I was using was four pound that clay yes yeah that's great the only thing is it's quite heavy if you're doing anything that you want um that you're going to post Mary um the other clay is lighter and it's for your cost as well just make sure you wrap it well but also it's about varnishing if you put a good varnish on things obviously it gives them um a better coating and protects them so i'm just going to go again because i'd like a bit more there and i mean just look it's like it's incredible it is apps when you see and remember treat your clay like paper like it's paper if, if that makes sense it, it's working with the products it's pushing the products to do more than that which we know with leases they do anyway and i can assure you i have tried this with other embossing folders and it really now I, I tried it a long time ago and it just let me down i wasn't happy at all um again it doesn't seem to stick to the folders because of what they are but you can always add a little bit of anti-static it's brilliant these little pads are fantastic for this okay once you've used your folder um it's all right for a bit but you are using clay and like with anything else i go and just give my little washing soapy water stand it up and dry it out done okay now the reason i like this you've most i know most of you have got lots of leases folders you can go to town and make as many um as you like in all different sizes i mean i think they're lovely as well i know you're a teacher mary for um teacher's present something else i love doing things for gifts and like i say these are what i'm going to be doing for my work colleagues for christmas with um little sweets and cellophane i think that's be a lovely idea right so i'm gonna I keep adding lots of this powder only because it's really good it's like if think that you're baking but you're not <laughs> it's not edible don't eat it right for cutting, I picked these up, um, reasonably cheap, I think they were about £3 uh, for the set. Now, you don't have to use these. What you can do, if you've got your craft knife, you could use um, your dies and press an imprint and then just go round. Actually, I have tried that and it works really, really well. But for speed tonight, that's why I'm using the cook. Because if you haven't got that, I just wanted to show you with um, the cookie cutters. But honestly... You set any of your shape dies, so you could do a square one, you could do any shape. So then you want to choose the size. Now, if you see, I've done some slightly different. So that one's a little bit smaller. I mean, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. It's whatever you prefer. So I'm just going to pull out, I think we'll go for, we'll go for the bigger one. Because I want to get as much of the leaves in as I can. So, and then just think like you're baking. And we will cut out. Now, don't forget, don't waste any of your clay, okay? Once you finish using it, in fact, I'm going to mark you there. I'm going to ask husband now to wrap it back up for me because I don't want to risk getting um, it drying out. Um, not that it's expensive, but I just think it's a waste. But just show you, I've used Daz. Any air dry, but it's not paper-like clay. This is what I call modelling standard clay and make sure you get the air dry unless you want to be doing baking which I don't really okay is that all right I'll just put it in then wrap so at this stage we've got the beginning of our bowl now for shaping now again I don't want you to go rushing out spending money on um anything special so I want to give you an idea of what I've used sorry angel my little girl's just, she comes bang on seven o'clock and sits on everything sorry angel oh she's gone now right so this is a little bowl what i picked up from uh, i think it was um iq it was 75p it has got a little mark in there and you can just see on that one you can see the mark slightly uh but it doesn't matter um because once it's painted you won't anyway but if it's bang in the middle to me it actually fits in to look more like a bowl okay so that's what I've been, I bought a couple of those, I've been using those. If you don't want to go out and buy anything, Yankee Candle Lid, that makes a nice shape. That's another one. Um, and these, you know the um, creme, creme brulee? And they always come in a glass. We Actually, we use these for cat treats, but then uh, I thought, hmm, 
yes they will work you will get that little mark there the little ridge uh, but to be honest it, that probably just makes more effective and I have used made little ridges in mine anyway that's just to give you a little I mean anything on a slope to be honest or if you've got little square cooking um, trays you could use that yes Lisa mark his magic hands but you're not seeing his hands because he's sunburnt Mary you can make a hole and a ribbon to ah uh, well the hole in the tree decoration that's a whole other video uh, if you like these ideas it's something I'm going to bring to you because I've got something else magical that the clay does but that's going to have to be another video because I can't fit it all in one evening okay so this was just to really start with the basics with the embossing folders so this is the little Ikea uh, bowl and I'm just going to get out these were um, these were a couple of pounds these are clay you don't really need these they're just clay tools I mean you could use anything um, a spatula knife would be good for this to gently lift up now what I want you to do don't worry if you've got a little bit of marks in there for me I like the marks because I think it gives it a bit of character that's me personally if you don't and you're not happy with your print roll it up do it again you can do it 20 30 times if you does if you starts getting a bit dry all you need to do is bring in a bit of water and that will sort it out for you all right so now what I want you to do is it's about shaping the bowl so this is when you need to decide what you're going to put it over so uh, let's sorry Nikki plant pot base yes anything to be honest anything um now what you want to really try and do is the side that that you if you're having it this way sorry I'm trying to explain it properly you really want the deboss side over it because if you put the emboss side it may slightly push out the shape if that makes sense because it's obviously the weight on there may push them down now you can do that way another way of doing it you can add cling film into your bowl and shape it into your bowl there so if you wanted this to be the inside of your bowl so I mean you don't need to add cling film it will come out but if you want to be sure of getting it out you can add cling film and then put it in that way and then just shape it around if there's any really quite sharp edges that you're not happy with if you want to just touch your finger with a little bit of water and it softens it like that okay and if you get a little bit of the clay with water and make it into like a paste it, they call it um i think they call it slim it's like a sip slip slim slip it's called slip and it sort of conditions the clay and it smooths out any creases okay so the way i've been doing them i've been doing them straight over the bowl and then very very gently i don't really want to put much pressure on and this depends on also what size if you want a more rounded bowl you probably need something smaller um i like these little ones because i think they're just ideal to put bits in and you could make yourself using um some shapes out the embossing folder if it's for a lady you could put um like a leaf but curl it round so you can hang your rings on there okay so basically that's it so then you will leave that to dry now the very important the important thing of this you must let it dry properly don't try and artificially dry it it just well i have done a bit with the heat gun but it is likely to crack and once it's dried there's no going back so i would just leave it on a windowsill or leave it probably 24 hours on one side and then just turn over you will know when it's dried because the clay goes from if you look it's sort of a gray color it will go to white and that's how you know it's dry okay but please make sure it's dry because if you paint and varnish before it's dry it's likely you're likely to get mold inside and then your bowl's ruined but what i want you to remember if you've only paid like mary said four pound for the and i've still got half of this left with all i've made it's just a little bit of clay again it's not an expensive material like the lighter clay is more expensive but the, this stuff um is great so i'm going to put that onto one side and what we do now is leave that to dry like i said if you want the emboss side on your top I will put it inside the bowl because we don't want to lose any of your pattern so I'm just placing that out the way okay so I just want to show you something I did that did go wrong because I think we need you know it doesn't always go perfect even for us when we're designing things we and I'm one of these I'm always pushing things to the limit and I want to try if they'll do something else so this one I use the you know the sunflower 
which I will grab if I've got it. No, I haven't got that out. You, the be you know the beautiful sunflower um, embossing fold? I did have it. There it is. Apologies, folks. There it is. So this is a sunflower. This was one of my favourites, uh, the sunflower. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I did, again, went ahead with the process I've just showed you, rolled out, cut out. Then this one, I got um, this little tool or and I just made little marks on the edge and then I had an idea I thought as you'll see it's not as pretty as the others I thought I wonder if you can dry it in the microwave well I've done it for you I don't unless you want um it to look like a mince pie which mine did it kind of swelled up like a pie now it did go back again and if you're happy with it rustic um it's I mean to me that's quite pretty and it'll work but I don't think it's got the detail that my others have I just don't I'm, I'm not happy I'm not as happy with that but I just wanted to try it for you to see if it worked um so I'm gonna I will paint that and I'm, I'm going to do something with it but um it was a bit of a failure like I say it they don't like the microwave natural drying for anything is always the best way also I found this tea it's um you know what you put your um, tea bags in but it had a mark in the bottom so I put a um, circle over that's another way you can measure the size of your bowls in fact that's what i did that one in okay i was just trying different things for you and as well with the folders what i'm thinking of the um the, i'm waiting for the pronsetta thinking the pronsetta one in the middle would just look absolutely beautiful i'm really waiting for that right just before i came on air i had an idea as you do last minute and i thought the i wondered if lisa's um Cora Noir pencils would work for colouring. I wasn't sure, but I thought, well, let's have a go anyway. So um, I got these. I know quite a few of you have got these, the, um, the Zestit. Now, I wasn't sure how it would affect the clay, but so far, so good. So what I've done, I um, this is just a scrap piece, of, and I tried it on here because I, I didn't want to go on the original. Oh, it's all right, Tina, lovely to join you. I didn't want to go on my original piece and ruin it so I just had a little bit um this is something I'm doing later on but that will in another another life so if you want to color with your pencils all you have to do is add a little bit of color now this is the um one of the new Christmas uh, I just love this one it's beautiful I'm just going to go in there with the um the green I think the snowflakes is my favourite at the moment, but I'm just going to keep changing my mind. So, and if you get your the zest it, and I mean I'm not I'm not a colourist. I have a go, and I'm to be honest, the these pencils have helped me so much, and I've had some lovely results. So you could go into all your proper, you know, shading and make it really beautiful. And then I'm just going to pick out the red. What have we got? So I know berries, they, they'd normally be white on these, wouldn't they? But never mind. Yeah, mistletoe, they're normally white, but it doesn't matter. We're just playing tonight, aren't we? Your video is in a loop. Yeah, my mine has been a bit funny, so um, I will put it onto YouTube. And then I probably have with a white pen little dots to give them a bit of shadow. So that's just to show you if you want colour. I quite like them white. Now what I've done, I'm just going to put the lid on that because I'm a little bit clumsy. Right, for this one, this is the one that's obviously, um, I think, for, great for men or for, you know, for Father's Day. I've All I've done is painted with, um, this is a Americana Decor Chucky Finish black paint any of your acrylic paints will work on this again please please make sure it's dry i'd rather you leave it three or four days do a load in one go let them dry because once that then you know um it, they will be finished perfectly and then what i've added on here do you remember lisa brought us the stamperia wax this is the metallic black oh wow um and that exactly the same as on card it does on clay so obviously you've embossed and then you can go over with your finger and you get the same effect as you do with card like a metal and you could do this in all different colors it's absolutely beautiful i love it 
so that that's one and like i say the leaves go a bit rustic for the men go a bit different this one this is apps i love this now something i haven't done on these and i will mention to you i know a lot of us are perfectionists and we don't like a jagged edge or we don't like a bit we want it all to be perfect now this one i've actually got if you've got a sanding block you can sand it down they're quite hard eh so or a nail file and sand down there look so you get more of a smooth perfect edge but to be honest i i prefer the rustic because i think that's what makes it how it is and if you look at the ones in the shops that's how they are they aren't perfect because then it doesn't look as effective this one i've used mod podge extreme glitter so i just went over it with and i only needed one layer because the if you've got the other glitter i'll probably do two as you can see right i need to try and get you i'm just waiting for catch up because i want you to see the sparkle and then the little gems look the little ab gems and then what i'm going to do with them all you can get this the mod podge mat or any to be honest a spray varnish would be good for this because if you paint coloring in remember your varnish may react with what you're coloring so just check your products what you're using so can you see Oh, I'm just trying to get the sparkle. Can you see the glitter? Right, I think we're getting a lot of interference. So hopefully you will watch me back on YouTube. We'll save it to there later. So you get a beautiful effect with that. Okay. Now also, if you have the sparkle pens or acrylic paints, I've got these, um, I think this is a tonic one, and these work beautiful. So if you just colour in there, look can see and then when it dries it will yeah you see with these you don't get the uh oh these are nouveau no these aren't the glitter sorry that one's the glitter the red so if you can see that one can you see the red glitter that's just a nouveau so i've just basically painted with that that was um a sparkle one and get lisa's glitters out get lisa's mica powders out you can add so many things to these um the main thing is varnish afterwards because if it's going to have things in it and they're quite hard eh especially this one that's like quarter of an inch that's quite hard eh so and make little things to decorate them with but i would stick these on these were just the bits i had left i was just playing around really so if you're doing a leaf one you could add leaves onto there um but i haven't uh, filed these down and sorted them out yet you could add leaves but these aren't like the other clay, they do, don't bend, they will snap, so you have to be really, really careful. And then, if you enjoyed this video and you would like me to do so, the next thing we're going to look at is that you can actually stamp into them, and it's absolutely beautiful. But obviously, depending on how you enjoyed tonight, and if you'd like me to take it a little bit further. But what I want you to remember, that it is very reasonable to buy, and with all Lisa's, all Lisa's products are going to work so you can use your stamps you can use your but the embossing folders for me is the best effect and that that is my favorite the christmas one i'm going to do a few more and then what i'll do when they're finished i will put them all on the uh, website for you to have a look at um you can get a quite cheap varnish it's a spray one from wilkinson's that works well for these then but i do that outside obviously for ventilation and if you're doing the um, filing down also uh, use ventilation i found if you want a little bit of water do make sure you rinse it well after lisa's water brushes work quite well just to brush around the edge as well to give you a smoother edge and if while it's drying you notice any significant marks that really bother you i mean they don't bother me if you just go over with your brush a little bit of water it will during the drying process it will actually smooth it out okay so i think we are about there and i do apologize about the interruptions it seems the internet is really um not playing to oh you like the wee hearts mary that's what yeah well yeah this is something else i'm thinking about um if you can imagine the christmas embossing folders christmas stamps uh, christmas decorations because i think this clay is better for christmas christmas decorations than the other and uh, just get yourself a really good heart you know good varnish because varnish is important yeah and these i mean just look at if you was doing a i mean you could even sort of go these are quite messy like i say it was just the last bit of clay look you know because glue 
stick them on there. And then you've got a little, I mean, you could make earring, uh, with earrings. We could go, we could go for time. Spray varnish. No, it's called, you can get just a, and just grab one here for you, what I've got. Oh, I've got that many varnishes, I just keep buying them. Um, so, you can use your Mod Podge. Mod Podge is great. The only thing is in Mod Podge, if you're painting on, just be careful it doesn't disturb whatever medium you've painted with. Um, this is a clear lacquer spray paint that I picked up in one of the shops. Um, Hobby, Hobby and Craft Sealer, plastic out, but Wilkinson's do their own version um, of just any Hobby Craft Sealer. It doesn't have to be um, any specific, but do them outside. Thank you, Nikkei. That's lovely of you um, to say you've enjoyed it. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to push your products a little bit further. Okay, right. I'm going to leave you this evening. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Well, what you could see of it. I'll get it straight onto YouTube for you so um, you'll be able to watch it properly. Have a lovely rest of the week. Uh, Claire, will, Dawn isn't doing a live this week. You have Claire back on Tuesday and Na my lovely Natasha will be on Wednesday. So have a lovely week. Take care. Bye.